Welcome to a special insight of the new Tiguan facelift presenting the new sporty models as well directly. The all new Tiguan R, first time this very powerful version and also the R line when you want it sporty looking but not necessarily that powerful. So both of that here on Autogefühl, exterior, interior and what can we expect from driving? This will be very interesting here, what they have new technologies also for the torque distribution. Let's go now in full HD, full screen and full length. The Tiguan facelift comes with a new hood. You can see here it's higher in this case and therefore a stronger stance on the road, maybe a little bit more off-road look. However, R-Line and R make it sportier than and maybe less off-roadish, I don't know. Here the front grille is also new, horizontal chrome fins, the R-Line already with a sportier bumper in the lower part. The color here, by the way, is called Nightshade Blue. It looks a little bit greenish, but depending on the light and on the angle, it changes actually. Very interesting. Then you can see here the grille leads over to the new headlamps. They start with LED from standard and optional these here, the Matrix LED and also with a new daytime running light. Now, as for the true R version, we have the Lapis Blue color here, so a special R color, a little bit darker see the R logo once again and they don't look too different in the upper part however in the lower part you can see is a stronger air intake here and dark accentuations so a little bit more real menacing here with the true Tiguan R. Not so many changes as for the side profile but you get new wheel design for example here for the R line so don't have to go for a big engine but you can still already get 20 inch wheels pretty massive then for let's say normal mid-size SUV R-line batch right there and you can see again these color nuances right there form wise nothing has been changed you can see here upright windows so we have a lot of space on the interior and so on and we can soon take a look at the difference to the true R and here we go. So for the R, 20 inch wheels is standard actually. And these are the optional 21 inch. So 21 inch on the Volkswagen, rarely seen that. Really massive then, also with bigger brakes, blue brake calipers, then the contrasting mirror caps right there. DCC, the dynamic chassis control, adaptive suspension would be an option usually. Here with the R it is included, so you always get the DCC and then with a 10 millimeters lower setup actually. And some chrome cross in contrast here in the lower part. Still the R as well as the T-Rock R for example, keeps the crossover wheel arches, so keeps some of the off-road character. But I think very cool look, isn't it? In the rear, new tail lamp design more three-dimensional shape as well somewhat and also with cascading turning indicators when you have the optional IQ light, the optional matrix LED. Then fake exhaust alert here for the fake exhaust police at Autogefühl. <whistles> Definitely, yeah, a very hard case for that. Yeah, it will be different in the true R model. Different engines of course available, soon more to that, but overall let's say a rather conservative styling at the rear but a little bit modernized than with the new tail lamps. And now the Tiguan R from the rear. Well, first of all, the R logo, then the lower part with a black contrast. And, whoa, a Krapovich exhaust. This is the optional one. You already get a four flute normal sports exhaust and then optional the Akrapovic one for even more sound boost. We've heard that a couple of times now with the Golf R, for example, or also with the T-Rock R and it sounds quite good. Tiguan R, not only with gas strut, but also with a 2.0-liter TFSI turbo petrol engine, 4-cylinder, 320 horsepower. In this case, 
Yeah, that will also be the horsepower count and when the Golf are 420 newton meters of torque. So pretty massive. All-wheel drive, front plus rear on demand. On to the rear, of course, a little bit more when you push the throttle. And now also with the torque vectoring. So there's a torque split between the rear axle wheels so that you can have, for example, more torque at the outside wheel. When you, for example, on the left corner, more torque on the right wheel the right back wheel that you can get through the corner even quicker. This is supposed to increase the agility of the vehicle. Really looking forward to drive one of these new all-wheel drive systems. It's not a completely new idea of course, but the first time they implemented it here now in the R model. And on the other side we have the R line with the let's say normal engines. So there are first of all the TSIs 1.5 with 130 or 150 horsepower, the 2 liter TFSI 190 or 245 horsepower, and the 245 always comes with all wheel -all drive and the 190 as well. And then there's the 2 liter TDI 120 horsepower, 150 or 200, 150 optional all wheel drive, the 200 horsepower TDI always with all wheel drive, and then there is the 1.4 liter e hybrid, so it's the plug in hybrid, 1.4 liter made to electric motor, and with the GTE horsepower 245, 13 kilowatt hour battery. And we'll see how that one performs. I think it will be a very popular model, especially the e hybrid in the future. This one is already quite special here with the Tiguan facelift, instead of the door, sporty deco elements, leather red inside, big dog pocket still, and then the Arlan entry batch, and also a completely new steering wheel, perforated sides here for the Arlan flat bottom, also accentuations, illuminated buttons at the steering wheel, they give you some capacitive feedback. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I like it more with real buttons. What's your take on that? Right, so also heated steering wheel is available, new digital instruments, soon more deals with that. And then really cool, the R-line seats here with fabric on the inside and also some microfiber inserts and then leather red. So all animal free, this seat here and very nice and quality premium styling. Actually one of the favorite seats here I've seen so far and one of the new highlights here also with the Tiguan facelift for the R-line. Soon more to the real R then. But you can see even more features here to come with the facelift. But first of all, seating test here. Is it also sporty and comfortable at the same time? So they give you more side support here, left and right. And also in the upper area and you have the upright typical seating position for the Tiguan. And wow, they are really very comfortable. So um, in the lower part, by the way, you have another um, you know, another cubby hole. So indeed it makes the impression that this one has a comfort of like like a segment above. So the first impression, I mean I have to test them over a longer period of time of course, but the first impression is really very very good. Menu control here. Wow. And headroom with the panoramic roof. Still there's a lot of headroom left. It's also the lowest position here. Pumping it up your manual with one is 86 or 6 with 1, but this works, although we have the panoramic roof in here, this is an option, you don't have to go for it if you want more headroom, but I think, you know, you have to be really tall then. Here leaves a lot of air inside and it really goes all over the vehicle until the back. Interior overview, soft touch materials on the dashboard here, Harman Kardon optional sound system, very nice sound right there, top speaker. Here we have digital instruments, so more deals to that. Then on the right side, either start with 6.5 inch, the smallest one, then optional 8 inch, it's also included in higher trims, and this is the optional 9.2 inch screen. Soon also more deals to that. First of all, let's continue with the overview. Lower part now with the digital climate unit with sliders, and 
We've seen also in the new Arteon facelift. Yeah, sliders are not the best solution, we know, but for a slider it is very well to control. It's quite easy to control and works quite well, better with sli sliding than with pressing. So, and you can very well see the temperature. So it's one of the few sliders you can actually quite well control also while driving and also here for the vent strength and also stays at that area, of course. Seat heating here and lowest part, inductive charging, two USB-C chargers. That's also then the upgrade then, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, CarPlay also available wirelessly. New shifting lever with illumination here for the gears on the top part and it's a little bit stronger than before. Then you have the different driving modes, for example, for the off-road driving modes, especially if you have the orbit drive model, changes the stability systems and so on. Then adaptive cup holders here in the lower part too, and a leatherette cover for the armrest. And underneath you have some more space. And uh, we also found the key right there. <laughs> That's a standard key. And here we see the CarPlay integration works all the way over the screen. That's nice. And well, I mean, Let's listen a little bit to the sound system. Hmm, that's quite rich. So, why not? And you can see here, volume control here, or also at the steering wheel, but ah, I like to have a no volume knob for that. You can get it, the volume knob, with the smaller screen, however. Here then to the Volkswagen menu, and there we go like this and you can display the GPS map at the same time in digital instruments and also here in the central one it works in a you know quite fast way is okay could be a little bit more responsive and you can also tune into your own home menu where you can then set different things you want to be displayed right here and then there's another option here for example also for the in ambient lighting works in new way, 30 ambient lighting colors now available. Also another upgrade with a facelift. Now getting in the rear, it's very easy with the Tiguan. Rear doors here by the way, hard pack materials. Well, don't like it that much, but I like the seating position here in the rear. A lot of legroom still left, upright seating position for the rear. You are flexible with this moving bench. You can move it forward for more trunk or backward for the maximum legroom. You have the straps here on the left side where you can adjust the angle of the seat, sit a little bit more upright and here you also profit from this panoramic roof. Wow, this is a cool view then also to the top. However then, a little bit reduction in headroom for the rear. It works still for me, but if you want more headroom in the rear then leave out the panoramic roof, but I would still go for it probably. So much light in the interior unless you're in a like, state or country where you have a lot of really, really hot summer. So very comfortable upright seating position. Here also for the middle seat is quite okay, although you have also the fabric and nice Alcantara inserts, so it's more like a single seat setup, left and right. So, But you can sit in the middle seat here as well, it works space-wise, but of course the outsides are more comfortable. You can also directly flip the seats from here with these straps like this, so it's not only for adjusting but also for flipping it completely. You also have the ski hatch available here, it's a little bit complicated because when you put it up again, need to pull the strap once more and in the middle lower part you can also go for seat heating or this climate unit but now with the facelift already from the second trim like the Tiguan live trim so called you already get the three zone AC for the Tiguan. Now to the interior of the True R model and we can see here beautiful bright Alcantara inserts so it's very sporty also soft touch material at the top part and big board door pockets again then the R steering wheel looks quite similar to the R line, but then here blue accentuations and blue contrast stitches. And these special seats, first of all, again, a fabric, a microfiber mix, well done. In this case, also with integrated head restraint. And this is indeed the standard seat for the Tiguan R, just like it is here. Blue stitches right there, so a beautiful job. And again, animal free. So that's another example how we can make a premium atmosphere without using animal materials, at least on the seat. They're not ready to do that on the steering wheel yet. <laughs> Has been yet to come. And um, comparing the comfort now, um, it doesn't feel, let's say, too different because the lower seating area to me feels quite the same. In the upper part, um, I think it's more a question of philosophy with the you know um, with the head restraint here. Um, it's very nice to have this you know soft microfiber there on the head restraint. 
Sometimes people say, oh, I really like to be able to adjust the head restraint. That's more fitting to me. And sometimes people say, like, this integrated form is more suitable. I think it really depends if you're more happy than with the R-Line or with the true R-Model. But both are actually very comfortable. So indeed, so far, it's just a short test seating here. But the first test seating says, very comfortable and sporty at the same time. Usually also, when we've driven the Tiguan so far, due to the upright seating position, you also have good long-term comfort. And this is also a thing you now about this vehicle. You can have a sporty one in here with the R, but at the same time with a good comfort. Here, by the way, huge shifting pedals. That's also new at the steering wheel for the Tiguan R. So very well to control these. And they also feel quite light, but at the same time, you know, give you a nice clicking feedback. Very interesting. Some special R gauges, by the way, also, um, that you have, you know, some blue R logos uh, inside the instruments and so on. Um, but it's not too different than from the R-Line model. Here again, more blue contour stitches, for example, but the rest is actually pretty much equal. It's more about the seat, definitely, and the steering wheel here, and very special, the R button at the steering wheel, that's new. So with that here, you don't have to pick the lower menu with the um, drive modes. You always have it directly at the steering wheel to get into the race mode when you need some fast overtaking. You could shift back yourself, but with the R mode, sound is being boosted. The gears are turned up higher from this dual clutch transmission. So I think it's very good to have it on the steering wheel. They don't have to, oh, like where can I pick the driving mode? Somewhere here, oh, next is a accident. Yeah, <laughs> so good to have it right here. Talking about accidents, the assistance systems have been upgraded. Front assist, autonomous emergency brake is standard. Option then, you can get the travel assist and then it includes new features, for example, updated ACC, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist and so on. And when you just hit then the one button at the steering wheel, it both being activated at the same time. Well, and you know, the rear seats, you can see also again, the same blue true R design. Good job once again. So to me, this is really a car that combines these, you know, performance features with a lot of comfort. Yeah, with 21 inch wheels, hmm, we have to see about that. Probably I would stick with the 20 inch that are standard because bigger wheels also reduce comfort. But seating wise, it's really top game. And the trunk area right there, you open it below the logo. Very practical dimensions, even loading sill, I like that. You can store a placement tire or in this case also inside. The formula you know, from the sound system, the subwoofer and so on on the inside then. And also one of my favorite features, you can flip the seats from here, left and right. There we go. Maybe needs a little push then, but then you can also load longer things through. Here we go. <laughs> And now to the conclusion for today with the new Tiguan facelift. First of all, a little bit stronger from the exterior. Interior with infotainment system updates, of course, and also with new seating. Letter one, actually the cool things, both for the R-Line and also for the True R. Very nice seats, comfortable and sporty at the very same time. Yeah, with the temperature sliders, hmm, I'm not sure if that's really a progress. It looks better and considering it's a slider, it's very well usable at least. Big news, of course, as for the e-hybrid. So this will be a crucial model, the plug-in hybrid ver version. And of course, looking forward to drive the true R version, especially then with the torque split in the rear, the torque vectoring, supposed to give you a lot of driving performance. So yeah, I wouldn't mind taking just this one home now, right here. <laughs> so. R or the R line, well, it's up to you if you really want to spend the money on that because this one will, of course, be a quite expensive Tiguan. But in general, the Tiguan, one of the best mid size SUVs because you still have a lot of space on the interior with good quality materials, but it's still, so to say, a down to earth car. It's not too complicated and also then cheaper in comparison to other more premium or let's say official premium competitors. What do you think here about the Tiguan face up? Do you like changes? And would you see us reviewing here the Tiguan R? Maybe on the racetrack? We'll see about that. Stay tuned here in Autogefühl. Thanks for tuning in today. Now join us in the comment section.